friends and happy monday welcome to a very busy work week in my life i have so much that i need to get done this week and i'm trying not to let myself get overwhelmed and the most effective way to lessen the overwhelm is to think about the individual tasks that i have to do when i think about them individually most all of them are really fun or like their work but they're tasks that I either really enjoy doing or aren't actually that demanding, like admin work, various tedious admin tasks. Um, so yeah, when I zoom out and look at it all, it's very overwhelming. In fact, I made this giant to-do list. Hold on. Ah, the sun keeps going behind clouds and it looks like nighttime in the house when that happens. Um, yeah, I made this giant to-do list. There she is. These are all the things that I need to get done by the end of October. And uh, my birthday is also this month and I would really like to not have to do anything on my birthday. But I said there are about 47 things on this list and only 23 days left in the month at the time that I wrote this. And then subtracting the days that are either the weekend or my birthday, I got 19 days in the month. How much time is needed for each of the tasks on this to-do list? This is all me just getting my thoughts out. So then I went by each task and marked how important they are and then how much time I thought they would take me to do. So for example, October postcard design and sticker design I thought would take me one day to do. <laughs> I've currently spent the past two days doing it. Um, signing up for health insurance because I'm about to turn 26 and run out of my parents' health insurance. I think that'll take me a half a day or a full day. Each YouTube video for the month takes me no less than two days, so on and so forth. You guys get the point. So I have a lot to do this week. Um, lots of filming for Patreon. Gotta get my postcard and stickers designed and ordered. I have a fair bit of admin work, and then of course this YouTube video. But like I said, I'm trying to not let it overwhelm me. And so I'd like to have a very productive week, but I would also like to prioritize fun and well-being, or just make sure that I'm taking care of myself as I work so hard. So if I stay up crazy late, <laughs> I do not need to wake up at 6 a.m. like I usually do. That being said, one of the ways that I really enjoy spending my time is through reading, obviously. <laughs> I have a booktube channel and I have so many books that I want to read during the month of October because it's cozy spooky season. And you guys, I am, I think, eight books behind on my reading goal of 50 books this year, which is significant. It's at that point where if I don't really get caught up, if 
I fall further behind, I just won't make it to my goal. So, during this crazy busy week, I want to try and get some reading done. I'm going to divert the time that I would normally spend on social media. Oh, the sun came back out. Let me just turn down my ISO. Here we go. So basically, anytime I feel the urge to check Instagram, or I hate to say it, but get on YouTube um, or Pinterest, those are my time-sucking apps. I hope to instead try reading a page or more of whatever book that I'm reading. I'll also read during my lunch breaks and then before going to bed and just see if I can balance work and fun through reading. So the books that I'm currently reading are The Kite Runner. This was my September book club month and we're already almost halfway through October and I have not finished. So I hope to finish that either tonight or tomorrow. Um, the audiobook that I'm currently listening to is called Daily Rituals. I'll pop it up on the screen right here, but it's really fascinating. It's basically a compilation of various creatives' daily routines, daily work routines throughout history. Composers, philosophers, artists, writers, videographers or cinematographers, producers maybe, you name it. There's so many daily routines included within this audiobook and it's both very inspiring and then also reassuring because even the greats, even Bach and Freud could not work all day every single day. Um, we're human. We're only human. We can only handle so much grind before inevitably we need a rest. So I really enjoyed listening to that audiobook. Um, once I finished The Kite Runner, I'd love to begin Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman, which is our book club pick for October. I have never seen Practical Magic, and I know Magic Lessons comes first chronolo chronologically in this trilogy, I believe, and I would so love to read all three books before watching the movie, and I'd love to watch the movie around Halloween time. I'm also reading A Poem a Day Every Day for Autumn, and that will not end until December. And I have a myriad of other books that I would like to read slash am reading. I'm one of those. I'm one of those people who reads multiple books at a time. Anyways, um, I'm very excited for this week and I've had a lovely start to my Monday and now I'm feeling inspired and motivated to get back to work. And so friends, if you have not already, go ahead and make yourselves a hot cup of tea or coffee. Grab your favorite cozy blanket or cozy sweater. Get comfortable and let's get to it.
ordered my postcards. <laughs> Very nice. That yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Here's something hilarious. My, uh, do you, you remember Shrek? Uh, my coworker was like, dude, you need to go to Slurge Park one for Halloween. <laughs> and then, like, when you look it up, it is so <laughs> accurate. Like, my hair looks just like that right now. Oh my gosh, okay. How do you spell his name? Lord? I have no idea. Oh, it, it showed up. Farquad. And it sounds like fart. <laughs> Landon. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Isn't that so funny? I can use it to make a selfie because I'm actually filming right now and I want to <laughs> pop it up on the screen. friends how perfect is this mug it was a gift actually from one of you all thank you so very much Kelly I love it so much not only is the front perfect but it's one of those mugs that is so very satisfying to hold and it's extra large so I can fit copious amounts of tea and coffee in it I'm currently drinking orange spice rooibos and it is so good I got it from Trader Joe's in the last vlog and ooh. I love it. So I had a bit of a late night working last night, but I got my postcard illustration finished and I also finished Daily Rituals as I was working on it. Um, I would rate that book maybe a three out of five. It was interesting to hear people's daily routines and morning routines. However, it wasn't exactly gripping in any way. It was great background noise while I was illustrating, so I'm happy to have listened to it, um, but I'm not sure if I recommend it. Still very reassuring, like I said before, we're all human, even the greats couldn't work all day, every day. And so many people mentioned in that book have to take naps in the middle of the day, which I feel like we should all be allowed to take naps in the middle of the day. So that's one book finished. Today's reading priority is finishing The Kite Runner. I am on page 309 and there are, let me see, 372 pages in this book. I just realized that somebody took notes in the back of this book and maybe had a child because there's a lot of scribbling. Um, this is a used copy from Powell's, but yeah, I only have about 70 pages left of this book, which is very doable. So my plan is to just read pages here and there whenever I get the urge to check social media and then read on my lunch break and then hopefully finish up work earlier today and uh, read the night away. On my work to-do list, I need to order my October postcards. I'm really happy with how they've turned out. I did my very best to portray the essence of October with crisp, cozy mornings, steaming cups of tea, vibrant golden and red leaves, the coziness of winter on the horizon, and then huga or the overwhelming feeling of contentment in the form of a cozy red cottage with a fire burning and smoke coming out of the chimney. Mm, yes. Oh, how I love autumn, and I really hope that my patrons like this print. Um, so I need to order the postcards as well as design this month's sticker. I have this idea in my head. I want to do a stack of books, specifically spooky October reads. I think I'm gonna do Rebecca, Frankenstein, maybe some Sherlock Holmes or Agatha Christie. Yeah, it's gonna be a spooky stack of books, and I don't think it'll take me too long to make. That being said, I had better get to it.
Mm. All right, so for dinner, I've sauteed a bunch of veggies. There's celery, carrots, cucumber, onion, and jalapeno. Some yummy seasoning, plus some Beyond Meat ground beef. Well, my finger <laughs> looks so weird doing that. Yeah, it's vegan ground beef. And some rice. And I'm gonna mix it all together for a hearty meal. Part of taking care of yourself is eating yummy, hearty foods. They don't always have to be super healthy, like fake vegan meat I don't think is very healthy, but this food is so good and leave me feeling excellent, I think. And I'm um, ready to get back to work. cup pages this week and that put me through the end oh man I get chills thinking about this book um, it's a heavy one very very impactful very powerful and also just extremely heartbreaking so yeah gonna take some time to process that one and I am really really glad that I read it but it was a painful experience that being said I am looking forward to reading something a bit more lighthearted, but <laughs> even as I say that, I know that Magic Lessons isn't exactly a lighthearted story, but I did read a little bit of it this morning and it is so good, it is so good. 
um, I think it's going to be a page turner. I've heard that the audiobook is really good and because I still have so much work to do, it's been such a productive week, but my October list is so big because I don't necessarily have the time to sit down and read. I think that I'm gonna download the audiobook and listen to it as I do other tasks like drawing or packing Patreon orders. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. I feel self-conscious for some reason talking about listening to an audiobook. No one has ever said that audiobooks don't count as reading, but in making a video about reading during a busy week for some reason, I feel like an imposter if I just listen to audiobooks. However, I think it takes a special, I don't want to say skill, but if you ask your friends or just acquaintances, not many people can actually listen to audiobooks all the way through. If it were something that was easy and mindless, I feel like more people would be able to do it, like listening to music. When you listen to an audiobook, you get the story word for word. You are familiar with the characters, like you experience it all just rather then with your eyes, you're listening to it. So I think that it absolutely counts as reading. You're just doing it with your ears. And as I said before, if you're someone who just doesn't have the time to sit down and read a physical book, audiobooks are a wonderful way to get your reading in regardless. So I'm gonna see how far I can get with magic lessons today. I am really happy with the amount of work I've done this week, so I got my postcard illustrated and ordered. I filmed a book club discussion video and I spent this morning editing it. I also illustrated my Patreon sticker for this month and I love how it turned out. I'm gonna put it right here. Yay! I love these books and it was so much fun doing this illustration, especially the tiny intricate details. Very happy with it. It is lunchtime, so I'm gonna go ahead and warm up some leftovers from last night water the plants, and then listen to magic lessons as I work on a puzzle that I started two weeks ago and still haven't finished. I'm so close to finishing, so I hope to finish that during lunch. Let's get to it, friends. Cheers. Mmm. satisfying. It's finished. Yay. Let me move this. There you go. Ah, oh, I love this puzzle. So cozy. It is just after 10.30 on Wednesday night and I'm about to finish up work and go to bed. I made it to 
part two of magic lessons today, listening to the audiobook, and I finished the puzzle finally. Um, this book is so good, and I love how many allusions there are to other works of literature, such as The Scarlet Letter. And also, it's really fascinating for me reading about medicinal herbs in this book, like all the ingredients listed to aid in healing certain maladies in this book match what I've studied with medicinal herbs, which is fun. It's fun to see that in a work of fiction. And yeah, it makes me want to continue to learn more about the medicinal properties of herbs. So I'm feeling good. Work-wise, I did my postcard illustration. I filmed a Patreon book club discussion video. I did my sticker illustration. I filmed this YouTube video. And then I also managed to do a lot of admin things like answering my Patreon messages, renewing my business registration within Oregon, a bit of accounting and so on and so forth. And I also managed to read 150 pages of The Kite Runner, 100 pages, Actually, I think it's a little bit more, like probably 110 pages of magic lessons. And then I listened to the audiobook Daily Rituals, which I had started, but was only maybe an hour in. And I think it's a six hour audiobook. So I feel really good about how I've managed my time this week. And anytime that I film a video, I usually have an intention with it. I don't plan out my videos but I do try to have a goal that I hope to accomplish or an intention that I set for each video. And the intention of this video was just to highlight the power of spending your time the way that you want to in mindfully unplugging from social media. So it was extremely effective diverting the urge to check Instagram to reading a page or two of a book. I'm also surprised at how many times I go to check Instagram, but uh, yeah, I this is something that I worked on at the beginning of the year and have somehow fallen back into the habit of just checking over and over again. And I think part of that has been the growth that I'm currently experiencing with my channel and my Instagram. It's so exciting and so I wanna check all the time, but I know that isn't healthy. So I'm trying to pull back from that or just be more mindful of how I'm spending my time because we feel like we don't have any time and yet we spend an hour, two hours. For me, I'd say my average is four hours on my phone a day. Granted, I do quite a bit of work on my phone, but still, that's four hours a day. And if even just an hour of that, if it's spent reading or working on a side hobby, I think it's so much more beneficial. That being said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with scrolling on Instagram or YouTube or Pinterest <laughs> or TikTok now. I just want to have more control over how I was spending my time and I want to be more mindful in how I'm spending my time. Mm, yeah, I know that it can be so difficult for so many of us to find even a free 30 minutes in our day. Like I know so many of us work all day and have families to take care of or just other obligations and it can be a struggle to find free time. So I hope that with this video we can find that there is actually a little bit more time than we thought to be able to read or just relax or just simply do the things that we want to do, spend our time how we want to spend it. And to conclude this conclusion, um, I just want to say thank you again and again, a thousand times over for being here, friends. I've hit some huge milestones this past month, like reaching 50,000 subscribers on YouTube and 10,000 followers on Instagram. And then also with the launch of my cinnamon and clove tier on Patreon, I have received an unbelievable amount of support and I've cried so many happy tears the past multiple weeks. It feels so, so good. And you may have noticed that I have a new computer behind me. I, this is like a um, symbol of these milestones. This would not be possible without you all. So thank you so, so much for showing up for me every single week, for subscribing, for liking, for commenting on my videos, for joining my Patreon, for sharing your stories and making this such a safe, supportive community. Ugh. 
as always, words simply can't do it justice and also I fear seeming insincere while speaking to a camera. But this is my dream life and it would not be possible without each and every single one of you. So thank you so much. I'm hugging myself because I want to hug you and yes, I'm so, so grateful. Grateful for you, grateful to live this life, grateful for my new computer that I can't wait to edit this video on. So the takeaways, I hope that we can all find a little bit more time to do the things we love, the things that fill us up and make us feel good and alive. It is good to be productive, but also important to take care of yourself. And thank you for your very significant role in the life that I'm living. Okay, I think that's all. Cheers, friends. Sweet dreams. <laughs>